Hello, what's up everybody? It's your boy Two Phones back again with another informative video. I'm going to talk about uh, several SMS apps that you can find on the Google Play Store right now today to replace your default uh, SMS app with these because of the, the different functionalities, different features, and their accessibility to uh, work with your cell phone's uh, number and to work uh, offline without Wi-Fi or internet co connection, as you see the pattern, where the pattern is going with this. So no further ado, um, all you have to do once again is open your Google Play Store application and you search SMS and hit the search button. And as you can see, you'll see some of these apps pop up automatically. Now, the one I do kind of like, but I didn't download I uninstalled it, but I did play with it. And it's this one called Go SMS Pro. All right, it's very customizable. Um, you can tweak it any way you want to. Um, they do have like a pay a, a pay subscription where you can, you know, take away the ads or whatever like that. But as, as you can see, you have floating uh, widgets. You have um, floating bubble um, functionality where you can reply without leaving applications. You could stay watching YouTube, whatever. If a message comes through, you can just reply and, you know, and you could customize each um, contact on how you message and stuff like that. So, yeah, and, and it, of course, it says the number one messaging app for best SMS MMS experience, fast with customized themes, and you can check out the ratings. It's got a lot of fives, more than four, so take that in consideration when you're looking for the best SMS application that works online and offline. And of course, Android messages, um, which most devices will stock Android anyway, comes already pre-installed on your Android device. That's not a lot of customization with it. It just gets the job done. And yes, it does work offline as well. So you can go ahead, um, check out Android messages. Another one, I started to play around with also it's Textra SMS and I just changed this to my default now. So now this app is my default SMS app. And so you can, um, like I said, customize it any way you want to and things in that sort. They even have a beta. So you could join the beta if you want to get the latest and greatest features and functionalities before everyone else. So go ahead, take, uh, take a look at Textra SMS. Uh, we talked about this one in my past video, uh, post SMS. This also works on phone, tablet, and the web. And right now, um, the smart reply is only available on a beta. So if you're not on a beta, you can't get that smart reply inside the message or through a uh, via notification. So keep that in mind. This also has good ratings. Chump. Chump's also another uh, SMS application that allows you to, uh, you know, communicate without Wi-Fi or data. As long as you have some type of cellular signal, I'll put it like that. As long as you have cellular signal, these applications will work without using up data, using Wi-Fi. So you can stay offline and still be able to communicate with your family and friends. Also, new support to over 2,900 plus of the very latest uh, Unicode 11, Android, iOS, Emoji 1, and Twitter emojis. So it'll work with most of the uh, different emoji features and stuff like that. So yeah, go ahead, and check it out. And you can look at the different, you know, designs and what the app actually looks like. You can change the themes. Very customizable, feature rich uh, SMS and MMS application. Now I don't see any beta for it. So it doesn't look like it has a beta. Okay. And yeah, guys, that's about it. These are like the top SMS um, apps. I know uh, I seen one now says Mood Messenger, uh, which basically uh, it's, it's pretty much the same thing, guys. Like it's very customizable. You can get dark mode, light mode, night mode, whatever mode. <laughs> it works with SMS, MMS, and uh, things of that sort. So yeah, these are the top applications I recommend. Uh, if you don't want to use your stock or default messaging app, um, 
as you can see, I got them right here. Uh, most of the ones I just mentioned, post texture sick. Oh, I didn't mention signal. Okay, so let's go back and look up signal. Okay, signal is that that one um, application, the private messenger, and things in that sort. So um, yeah, they do have new features and functionalities. And yes, it does work offline, and it does have a beta. So yeah, if you want to give these applications a, a test run, I leave a um, link in the description box for all these. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Which are the top best SMS and MMS messaging applications you're uh, you've used or you're still using now outside your default messaging app? All right. I hope I was very informative. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that like button and share and subscribe.